Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low-carb Pop-Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle rant. Today's topic, the glycemic index. What is the glycemic index? Well, it's an it's a arbitrary, well, not really arbitrary, but I guess I, I call it arbitrary because it, it varies a lot. It's a, um, it's a rating system of how much insulin um, a, or how fast a, a, a amount of insulin will be released in response to a food you eat. Now, they rate uh, at 100 white bread or simple sugars, okay, like table sugar sucrose meaning that you get the highest insulin output okay, by taking in these foods. That means they digest and get absorbed into the bloodstream the absolute quickest, and because of that, they, they cause the most insulin release. Because remember, what is insulin's job? The pancreas releases insulin from the beta cells in response to elevating blood sugars. So if blood sugar rises very fast because you're, you're eating a piece of candy or something that's pure sugar, okay, your body pumps out the most insulin. Okay? Now, Sometimes, because if blood sugar rises too fast, your body might over-release insulin, okay? Which, you know, is not necessarily a good thing because it can cause a, a rebound hypoglycemia. That's why sometimes, if you remember when you're a kid, you eat candy, you're all juiced up right after you have it, you're running around like a maniac, and then all of a sudden you, you get tired, you know, and you fall asleep. Usually it was in classroom that that happens after lunch, you know? So that's, you know, a distinct possibility. Also, if you have too much insulin, you can obviously store extra calories as fat, which we don't want. So typically, when we're trying to you know, you know, limit our body's ability to store body fat, we want to eat lower glycemic carbs. That's why usually in the an off-season scenario, I give people lower glycemic uh, carbs so that they don't over-release insulin. Whereas you know, pre-contest, if I'm giving them small, tiny amounts of carbs, I'm not really worried about over-releasing insulin because more than likely they're not going to number one, and I know they're not going to they're not going to store anything as fat. You know because of the fact that the carb quantities are small. When you're eating huge quantities of carbs, much more likely that you can store things as fat. But the question really is, is um, when you compare like a, a white potato to a sweet potato, okay? We know the sweet potato has a lower glycemic index because it's got more fiber in it, and just by nature it is. Whereas the white potato tends to have a higher glycemic index. Is there really a difference quantitatively in eating both of these foods? Now, if you look at the glycemic index chart, which and this is why I call it arbitrary because it, it varies. Remember, all foods have variability in them because depending on where they're grown and, and what, what strain or variety they are, they have different amounts of fiber uh, and, and slower or faster digesting carbohydrates in them. So not all potatoes are equal and not all sweet potatoes are, are, are equal. But by and far, if you look at a, the glycemic index of a sweet potato, before you cook it, it's like about a 40, 45, which is you know, pretty low on the glycemic, that, that's a low glycemic carb. After you cook it, it breaks down some of the sugars in it and it tends to ride, bring its uh, glycemic index to, up to about you know, 55, 60 sometimes. Whereas a, sweet pot whereas a white potato kind of starts at like a 65 already on the glycemic chart. And then if you cook it or even instantize it, you know, like where you, you could get like mashed potatoes, you know, they don't have, even if you make them plain without any butter or milk, they're, 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 they're rapidly, they're kind of almost pre-digesting because they're made into a powder. So you don't really have to, they digest easier. Remember, the quicker something digests and get into your bloodstream, faster and higher glycemic index. So if you look at that, a white potato can go almost up to 80 on the glycemic chart. So it is a faster carb, but the question is, if, if, you, know, if you design a diet and I give someone, say, six ounces of sweet potato versus six ounces of white potato, okay? Um, is it going to matter? How about 10 ounces? Let's do 10 ounces of, of white potato, which is about 45 grams of carbs, and 10 ounces of a sweet potato, which is a little higher in carbs. It could be around 60 almost, you know, grams of carbs. So we're talking more carbs. Now, if you equate ounces to ounces and you know one has more carbs than the other, of course they're not equal. But if you bring them into equality with each other, meaning you take in a little less sweet potato, so you do 10 ounces of potatoes and or, okay, you do about like eight or nine ounces of sweet potato, so we have the carbs being about equal. And I, I didn't do the math on it, so I don't know if that, but whatever you have to do to get the, the carbohydrate content equal, 
are they quantitatively different in terms of how your body will process them and whether you will lose or, or gain body fat? And I say the answer is, it doesn't matter. I think when you're in a dieted state and you're giving your body a limited amount of resources, meaning that you've, whether it be you or your coach has figured out, okay, I, this person needs this many grams of carbs a day, I'm giving them less than that. Okay, whether you get it from a sweet potato or a regular potato, I don't think it really matters. Now, the, the people who are, if it doesn't you know, fit your macros would say, well, then you could have a sweet, uh, you could have a Pop-Tart too, it doesn't matter. Now, I think if you're eating simple sugars, you can get, you can absolutely, first of all, the, the nutrition, nutritional value of it is not the same, but if you eat simple sugars, you can get a really huge rush of, of insulin, and I think that sometimes can screw things up. But once again, I don't want to get into that whole debate if, 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 if you could eat a Pop-Tart and that's equal to a potato. I'm talking about higher glycemic carbs like a sweet potato, or like a white potato versus a sweet potato. Does it matter? I say no in a, in a dieting situation if you're on a limited amount of carbs and you're really you know, counting you know, exactly what you're putting into your body and figuring it out. I don't think it really makes a big difference. I actually sometimes like to give people white rice when toward the end of uh, a diet when I'm trying to, you know, if they're getting too flat and I want to, I want to fill them up because what it does is it gets absorbed very quickly and I can see a change rapidly in their body. So if they send me pictures in the morning and they're really flat, then I can go back, I can give them a cup of, you know, rice two or three times at the next two or three meals, you know, a cup of rice per meal. And then by the evening I can see if they filled up. Now if I use a slower glycemic carb like brown rice and they, you know, brown rice because it has high fiber content, you're not really absorbing all the carbs and sometimes it's a slower absorption process. I might not see by, by two or three hours later if they've actually made it, you know, a difference. It might take till the next day before I see that. So I use faster carbs, but I'm not giving large amounts, I'm giving small amounts. Off season, I've noticed though, if I use too many fast acting carbohydrates, simple sugars, or you know, even you know, white breads, or bagels, or you know, white rice, people can get fat easy. Some people who are really sensitive and who over-release insulin, because they're over-releasing insulin and they're eating an abundance of nutrients, in other words, they're eating more than their maintenance because we're trying to grow, they will store some of those carbs as fat more, uh, more easily. So in that situation, I would rather go with the sweet potato, I would rather go with the brown rice, I'd rather go with oatmeal that has lower glycemic carbs. Um, whereas pre-contest, because you're not eating as much and you're not overeating what your, your maintenance level is, you can get away, I think, with eating the faster carbs and, and not have a problem. Now, also, I don't really give carbs usually every day in my, in my diets to people unless they have a super, super fast metabolism. So that's so usually their glycogen stores are really depleted when I'm when I'm working or dieting people down. So those carbs go right into glycogen storage or reglycogenation of the liver or the muscles, and so you don't really notice it. Now, if your if your glycogen stores are topped off already, once again because you're in a, you're eating a lot of carbs, whether it be dieting or not dieting, but if your glycogen stores are almost full and then you eat a large carb meal, some of that's going to not have room to get stored as glycogen and, and invariably will get stored as fat if it doesn't get burned as energy. You know, during a dieting state when you're doing a lot of cardio, some of it could be burned as energy off season where you're kind of conserving calories because you're trying to grow, you could get fat from that. So you have to take this into consideration. So to answer the age old question, what's better, a sweet potato or a white potato? It depends the circumstance. So you can't, there's no definitive yes or no answer. It really depends how the person's body processes carbohydrates. Is it an off season versus dieting scenario? Is there an overabundance of calories versus an underabundance because you're trying to lose weight? And that's how you make your decision. Also, you know, sometimes people just need variation in their diet. So it, it, it's not at the end of the world to throw, you know, a white potato in if you're giving people sweet potatoes all day long, you know, just to break it up as well. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope this helped you. Um, I hope it answered some questions or maybe it just made me raise more questions and you have to experiment on yourself. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle rant.